and then we mention the kakra. So in previous video, uh, we were discussing Matthew 16, 27-28. Ah, Ekase, for the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory with his angels, and then he will reward each person according to what they've done. Truly, I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. In such a verse, we are, Ekamiya Koyese, Yesu Kachen Esuya Fon said, Atemuda Ebeba Esuya Fon Abreso. In Tianyo Munina Nibu, the Binumba witness, a Binumba Hunu, yes, so free, Nahinemu Eba. Now, this Bible verse, a cause a lot of headache, Emma Christopher, Cherese. A Christopher have four options to choose. Number one, either say Atimudan, and yes, yes, Waba. Number two, either say yes, we chantro. Number three, either say there are two thousand year old disciples working today. Number four, and I said verse, you know, it means something else. Now, in my previous video, I made sure some kind of explanation of a Christophobia no edema. And it didn't hear me no more than Number one, the day of Pentecost. A Christophobia more than said the day of Pentecost. I answer this Bible verse, but I disagree with them because the day of Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit, I was a season, means the absent. Of Jesus Christ but this verse is making it clear that is the son of man that will come in his kingdom and on number two a Christophobia so drink said the transfiguration the Bible verse verse 28 Eka said truly I tell you some who are standing here will not taste death meaning a bit more than more or move but a bit more so Nien nien su nim se transfiguration e happen ye says days later into ye su catch them say bi mbe hu ni so free na hinie mu ba no says days later na na watch pepe 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 ana transfiguration e happen ye ye su dane e wo pepe ni so in front of Peter James and John into it cannot be the transfiguration because none of the disciples were dead now my answer to this bible verse a AD 70 when general Titus destroyed Jerusalem and the temple now, my uncle Bible name, now my uncle said, Matthew 16 27 cannot be the actual second coming of Christ. Now, my uncle Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 34, verse are a first second coming or a first attitude. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separate the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. The king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance. The kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. Verse 41. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. In Tinsusuyeben and our Bible verse, we will compare to Matthew 16 verse 27. Well, we will have Matthew 16 verse 27 be or say, for the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory with his angels, and then he will reward each person according to what they've done. Into the difference between Matthew 16 27 and Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 34 is this. In Matthew 16 27, yes, you the Son of Man will come in his Father's glory. Whereas in Matthew 25, 31 to 34, Jesus will come in his own glory. Not in his father's glory, in his own glory, and it's also about all nations. But Matthew 16 27 to 28 is only about Israel. Now, I know, said the verse does not elaborate more on that, but he becomes. That means he will come on earth the way God the Father used to come on earth. But according to the Bible, God the Father is literally, physically, and also bodily. But in the Bible, no nyamieja, God the Father, Abasa Sisu several times. In the Mumia Bible, Nim, Enre Hawa, Namieja, Ebasa Sisu, according to the Bible. So read the Isaiah 64, verse 1 to 3. 
O oh, that you rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains would tremble before you, as when fire set twists ablaze and causes water to boil. Come down to make your name known to your enemies and cause the nations to quake before you. For when you did awesome things that we did not expect, you came down and the mountains trembled before you. In the verse we actually say, Nyankopon God the Father, Abasa Sisupeng. But what this Bible verse is referring to is when the Assyrians destroyed or invaded Egypt and took Ethiopia as slaves. The Bible verse with Ekasafahon is when the Assyria king Saragam invaded Egypt in Isaiah 20 verses 1 to 4. Now Isaiah Ephraim the Assyrian said to Yankopon Ebasa he referred to it as God the Father. Isaiah 20 verses 1 to 4. So he referred to it as God coming down in Isaiah 64, 1 to 3. Now, in Isaiah 20, verse 1 to 4, in the year that Tartan came to Ashdod, when Sargon, the king of Assyria, sent him, and he fought against Ashdod and took it. At the same time, the Lord spoke by Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go and remove the sackcloth from your body and take your sandals off your feet. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. Then the Lord said, Just as my servant Isaiah has walked naked and barefoot three years for a sign and a wonder against Egypt and Ethiopia, so shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians as prisoners and the Ethiopians as captive, young and old, naked and barefoot, with their buttocks uncovered to the shame of Egypt. In Tinyankupon Yusu, Assyria as a tool to destroy his enemies, which is Egypt and Ethiopia. And so read Isaiah chapter 10 verses 5 to 7. Woe to the Assyrians, the rod of my anger, in whose hand is the club of my wrath. I sent him against a godless nation. I dispatched him against people who angered me to seize loot and snatch plunder and to tremble them down like mud in the street. But this is not what he intended. This is not the intention of Assyria. In the Assyria for no, and yet they know I'm open, but because God used them, God used them as his tool to destroy Egypt and Ethiopia. But this is not what he intended. This is not what he has in mind. His purpose is to destroy, to put an end to many nations. In Tisene Nyamiaja, Eisu Assyrians to destroy Egypt and take Ethiopians as slaves. Now Isaiah I referred to it as God coming down in Isaiah 64, 1-3. No? The same way is what Jesus meant when he said in Matthew 16, 27 that he will come in his Father's glory, meaning obey you sue the Romans to destroy the holy site which is Jerusalem. As as prophesied in Daniel 9, 25 to 26. Nafi, Mumia read Matthew 16 in context. Mumia starting from verse 21. From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he has to go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said, this shall never happen to you. Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumble block to me. You do not have in mind the concern of God, but merely human concern. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul for the son of man is going to come in his father's glory with his angels and then he will reward each person according to what they've done truly i tell you some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the son of man coming in his kingdom in the bible verse where mautias here said jesus was talking about his death the son of man, Nipabano, Beba Neja, and you, Nyamua, Bebu Farasi, for any a suffer form penny for Almubuna, Tamir Kunum, and in the sure form be prosecutor, 
Obeba na eje ni onya mu abebu omo nso aten ewo asuafo na breso during the lifetime of some of the disciples. Na mo mie hwe Bible verse a Yesu kasa fa atemu oda na e besi wo asuafo na breso. Mo mie hwe Luke chapter 11 verses 49 to 51. Because of this, God in his wisdom said I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and others they will prosecute. Therefore, this generation will be held responsible for the blood of all the prophets that has been shed since the beginning of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zachariah, whom they killed between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be held responsible for it all. And yes, we making a clear. It will happen in their generation. After we are going to share a fact, we will hear him. Oh, Daniel 9, verse 25 to 26. Know and understand this: from the time the word goes out to restore and rebuild Jerusalem unto the anointed one, the ruler comes. There will be seven sevens and sixty-two sevens. It will be rebuilt and streets and a trench, but in time of trouble. After the 62 servants, the anointed one will be put to death and will have nothing. The people of the ruler will come, will destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end will come like a flood. War will continue until the end. The dissolution have been decreed. In Sarah Bible verse, we are done here making it clear. Sir, after the anointed one has been put to death, the judgment will be the destruction of Jerusalem. Aye, Jerusalem, and say it. Ye be say Jerusalem. And to yes, you can say, Obewu, El Matthew 16 21. Now, Obe sorry on the third day. The Nansa son, Obe sorry. Na Okwa, Obe banner, Janu, Yamuni, and him say yes, you bar. He is coming with judgment. And to Jesus coming with judgment, and a shoe ring a bell. And what the Daniel Kayan Daniel 9 25 to 28 said, the next. After the death of the anointed one will be the destruction of Jerusalem. Yebesai Jerusalem. After we may hear some of the signs I used to do mention for never start to move away. Oh, Luke chapter 21, verse 20. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that the, that is the solution is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those in the cities get out. Let those in the countries not enter the city, for this is the time of punishment in fulfillment of all that has been written. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. There will be great distress in the land and wrath against these people. They will fall by the sword and will be taken as prisoners to all nations. Jerusalem will be trembled on by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles. Are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nation will be in anguish and perplexities at the rolling and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming in the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken at the time they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your head because your redemption is drawing near. He told them this parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourself and know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have happened. And you can see that this Bible verse was fulfilled in AD 70. As same way Bermu in AD 70, Emra General Titus surrounded Jerusalem with the Romans army and destroyed everything in Jerusalem. They destroyed everything including the temple. Na Bible only describe no as Yesu Efri na hinye muba. In Tiseni Isaiah 64 verses 1 to 3, Eka said, Nyankopon Efri na hinye mubae. Ebe destroy Egypt and Ethiopia, but in actuality no, wo you sue Assyrians to destroy them no. The same thing, Anasi Yesu kasi obe fri na hinye muba, Edi atemu abba. 
he was talking about using the Romans to destroy the holy site. Now, mommy, I heard some more prophecies. Ah, if I attend with you, it will make chapter one, verses three to five. Look, the Lord is coming from His dwelling place. He comes down and tread on the height of the earth. The mountains melt beneath Him, and the valleys split apart like wax before the fire, like water rushing down a slope. All this is because of Jacob's transgression, because of the sin of the people of Israel. What is Jacob's transgression? Is it not Samaria? What is Judah's high place? Is it not Jerusalem? Nayan Sanka in Zechariah chapter 14 verses 1 to 5 A day of the Lord is coming, Jerusalem, when your possession will be plundered and divided up within your very walls. I will gather all nations to Jerusalem to fight against it. The city will be captured, the houses ransacked, and the women raped. Half of the city will go into exile, but the rest of the people will not be taken from the city. Then the Lord will go out and fight against those nations as he fights on a day of battle. On that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olive, east of Jerusalem, and the Mount of Olives will be split into two from east to west, forming a great valley with half of the mountain moving north and half moving south. You will flee by the mountain's valley, for it will extend to Azel. You will flee as you flee from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. Then the Lord my God will come and all the holy ones with him. And you can see, sir, all these Bible verse refer to the destruction of Jerusalem as God coming down. The event no e happen here, e wo esuafo ne so abre so. Enye omu nyina so ne hu ye. James was dead during that time. Judas e betray Yesu amo wo wa send ho akonfo e wu during that time. In to me read Matthew 16:27-28 bill. For the son of man is going to come in his father's glory with his angels and then he will reward each person according to what they've done. Truly I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. And was this fulfilled? Yes. Yes, you saw the Romans no? and they fulfilled this prophecy in AD 70. Did some of the disciples saw it? Yes. Most of them were alive, but some of them were dead. In the Hebrew Bible verse, it means Event that happened in AD 70, the destruction of Jerusalem. I answer Matthew 16 27 to 28 perfectly. Now, you were Christophobia and one from who plethoris. According to Omon, the old Bible Munan has been fulfilled. And today, see AD 70 as the actual second coming. Omon, they see what AD 70 Roman for neighbor said Jerusalem. No? As the actual second coming to almost there, almost say at the mudan and ya bear we in tears from bear view. Now, the entire menu among ya journey in ye, sir. At the move the destruction of Jerusalem, yes, we ate me more more time. Like a bear happen, he told them it will happen in their generation, but in the actual second coming of Christ, at the one kasang sano, Jesus does not know the time that will happen. Yeah, Mark 13 32. But about the day or the hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. In the Atemuan Kasang Sadie, Yesu, any time wa Atemuan Kasang Sa ever happened because of his position as a servant. Obeye Akwa Menyankupon, in Jobeng, he can only know what the Father wants him to know. But the destruction of Jerusalem, yes, it me catch it almost say it will happen in their generation, the generation that they were in. And what is a generation? A generation is a period of 30 to 40 years. And the Bible also describes a generation as 40 years. So here Hebrew chapter 3, verses 8 to 10. Do not harden your heart as you did in the rebellion during the time of testing in the wilderness. Where your ancestors tested and tried me, though for 40 years they saw what I did. That is why I was angry with that generation. Now, so I Daniel commission with Daniel 9 25 to 26. Sir. Daniel making it clear said the destruction of Jerusalem will happen after the death of the anointed one. 
na sawa Matthew 21 na Yesu ka chene sua fo nsem obekwa Jerusalem akwa akwa ku na na sa so no obesori akosoro na after that in verse 27 he will come back with judgment in tiere ya wu Yesu e wo 4 BC and wo wu ye wo 30th AD AD 30 a period of 33 years after ye had ye AD 70 minus AD 30 exactly 40 years and this is one of the reason why um, Matthew 16 27 to 28 cannot be the actual second coming yeah the I what John 14 verses 1 do not let your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me my father's house has many rooms if that were not so would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go, I will prepare a place for you. I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. And you can see, sir, I have said, no, yes, you catch from sir, or Kusiesi, baby, I'm a shiafono. Now, money na babetna, I will. Australia memu baby awo now ye mbu se ho se bibi se esiye after the destruction of Jerusalem there be still are no yes we heaven asua for no no mo asasi so and that has not happened yet and to where see the second reason the destruction of Jerusalem cannot be the actual second coming after mummy and her third reason e o Matthew 25 verse 31 to 34 when the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All nations, not only Jerusalem, all nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. Verse 41, then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you who are cast into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. And you can see, sir, verse 3, is talking about the whole world, everybody, the whole, na all nations, not only Jerusalem. And this is also another reason we also can be in China. The destruction of Jerusalem cannot be the actual Atemuda, the actual judgment day. You have heard the fourth reason the entire way in Timinia, the destruction of Jerusalem in Timinia Atemuda. It will look chapter 21, verse 20. When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, you will know that its dissolution is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains let those in the cities get out and let those in the countries not enter the city i didn't know what can we in our children i didn't know what i said oh more or more equanim in free on them and i said a moon running come mountains so that they can escape the judgment coming on them do we really believe that the actual second coming no yeah a bit better my escape no, with the actual scan coming, you can never escape. At the mudan, you judge you But where the yes, you more more clear instruction. So we can say, as soon as we chat, the crown who is here, mudane, in free crowning. And this is another reason. In the way Matthew 16, 27 to 28 cannot be the actual second coming of Christ. The destruction of Jerusalem cannot be. The actual scan coming of Christ. Ain't he what plethoris air canal? Or more practice plethorism air canal is a bit is heresy, it's not Christian doctrine. Jesus will come back again and reward everyone according to their works. What happened in AD 70 is judgment, but it was fulfilled spiritually because Jesus did not actually come down on earth he used the romans to fulfill that prophecy
Medimubesia. I hope so we answer the question about Matthew 16, 27 to 28. Medimubesia, Namishra Munina, and thanks for watching.